Let's dive into Coverity's web interface to see what they have provided for analysis of their diagnostics. The Coverity Connect web interface is available for every installation of Coverity. It provides a simple authentication here. And once I'm in, I'm going to create a project and a stream, both called Jasper. So, new project, Jasper, and new stream, also called Jasper. And we are done here. So the project exists, however, it knows nothing about the analysis we've just done. So to teach it about that analysis, we use the cov commit defects command. This command links the scratch work that Coverity used with the dot dot slash cov directory along with the web interface and it uploads to the web all of the analysis information that it learned when doing its analysis. So now that it's done, we can go into the website, view all our projects, and there is Jasper. And in the Jasper project, there are lots of diagnostics. Some of them have high impact, others have medium. Let's go to, and look at the very highest impact one. This is called a use after free diagnostic. Coverity is complaining that the code is using a pointer after the pointer has been freed. And here, down here, is the source code that it's actually using. So, some quick analysis of the source code reveals that the TVP pointer is referenced in several locations. If we go up, we see another invocation. Furthermore, it's getting passed to the TV parser destroy function, both down here and up here. What does this TVP parser destroy? We can actually invoke the uh, details and to see that uh, Jazz TV parser destroy in fact calls Jazz free on the pointer, and Jazz free in fact calls the standard C free function. So Coverity is complaining that this pointer is getting freed twice. However, there is an intervening return call, meaning that uh, this call and this call should not be called at the same time. I'm going to divert here to Emacs for a moment just to show the actual source code that we're looking at. Here's the exact same source code uh, and as you see it has no annotations, it doesn't even have any comments, it just has the two invocations of Jazz TV Parser Destroy both on the same pointer. But the web not only provides the raw code, we also have line numbers and we have multiple colors of annotations. Coverity is claiming that uh, the TVP pointer is freed here and then if this if statement winds up being true the system goes to error skipping over the return statement and once inside error it might decide to fall down here and free TVP a second time. So in other words Coverity has indeed found a use after free vulnerability. In fact, it has found a double free, which is an even more egregious vulnerability. Consequently, Coverity's web interface is very useful for doing sophisticated code analysis and verifying the diagnostics that Coverity provides. The one disadvantage of this interface is that it is only available to Coverity diagnostics. And for scale, we need an interface that is available to diagnostics produced by any other static analysis tool in addition to Coverity.